After having three children, Claire's husband, Marcus, now Celeste, revealed that he wanted to live as a she, and they're now living and raising their children as best friends while searching for the perfect man together. And they're here now this morning. Good morning to both Good of you. Good morning. Good uh, to see you. It is, as Ruth said, it's a fascinating story from the outside, um, and we've had already had so many comments. This is... Uh, this is just, just testament to the two of you. Lynn says, amazing couple. Most leave it till their families are grown up and often choose their lives. The transition is best done when the children are small. They adapt to help the new mummy. Well, I said to you earlier, didn't I? I read this and thought, what a lovely love story. Between, between the yeah. two of you. Uh, Celeste, when did you realise that perhaps the body you were in wasn't the body that you felt you should have? I've always known since I was probably about nine years old. From nine? Yeah, yeah. Kind of always known so. And you went into a very masculine profession. You were a no. builder. You were into your motorbikes. Yeah. Was that kind of a diversion? Were you, were you I trying think to you just throw yourself into that so you just kind of like forget what you're doing, you know, so you can just basically pacify yourself so you don't have to act upon how you're feeling. You know, basically you're scared. So you of just course, yeah. throw yourself into that. So and keep thinking it. it'll go away. Those yeah. feelings will go away. The more macho things yeah. I do. Um, how did you two first meet? And what, what did you think? It was Marcus, obviously. Yeah, we met through mutual friends. Yeah. And what did you make of Marcus the man? Was it an instant attraction? How, how did the two of you get together? He was tall, dark, handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you've fallen in love yeah. and you, you got together. You've had three children. Uh, but, but clearly Celeste wasn't happy. What was that moment like when suddenly Celeste or Marcus says to you, I've got something I need to tell you? It was a big shock. It wasn't what I was expecting at Had all. you had any suspicion? No, no. To be honest, I thought it was having an affair. Really? Yeah. Why had your d relationship become distant or sexually yeah. you were distant? Yeah, um, we'd become more distant and they'd started drinking and right. his behaviour had changed. So the marriage was, was not good, but you had no idea no. that this was why. Um, how long did it take you, Celeste, to build up the courage? How long had you had that conversation going on in your head mm. until you actually managed to say the words? I, I don't know, for a, uh, forever. I, I, I kind of just so desperately wanted to tell Claire because I just thought she needed to know, and I was just living such a lie. But, it, you know, at the times, and I mulled it over and thought about it and thought, I need to do this, I need to do this, and I just I, I just kept getting, kept getting so scared, couldn't say it, couldn't put the words together. I just, I, you know, I just thought about it for so long. How did you do it in the yeah. end? Um, I had a couple of drinks, a um, <laughs> bit of courage, and then I just basically broke down yeah. and sat yeah. at the bottom of the stairs and just broke down and just told her everything. So at that moment, terrible shock for you, as you yeah. said, you had no idea. What went through your head? Did you, were you tempted to just run out the door? Or I what? just felt numb, mm. really. Yeah. I, I thought I should have just up and gone, to be fair. I did but think you, she but you didn't be. get no. up and go, and obviously it's been a long process, but what made you stay? I don't know, I just thought, we'd, we just, I said to her, you need to get help on this, so we went and saw the GP, and just, we've just been through it every step of the way together. And in terms of, of your experience, uh, from when Marcus told Claire to where you are now, it's, I mean, it's a million miles away, really, because, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, definitely. Uh, what, what's it been like having Claire alongside you and, and sort of going through that process I together? Could, I'd, I'd ne I could never have done it without Claire. She just, she just pushed me all the way. She just, like, supported me in everything I've done, every decision I've made. You know, she like gave me input and just just push, push, push. You know, it, she she was the, you was the first person to, talk, to basically say you need to go to doctors and I'll have a word with your GP, see what they say, and let's see if we can get through this. So. And then, did you? You've got three children together. I mean, it must have been difficult enough uh, uh, telling your wife Claire. Um, how did you approach telling the children? Did you, something you did together? A little too yeah. easy, weren't they? Yeah. The, the youngest two, it was just so easy. We just basically told them that. You know, sometimes people change and sometimes, like, people live differently and they have to wear different clothes and, and they have to have a different life. And, and how just, old would they have been? They, um, they'd have been six and three. three. Right. Yeah. And they were just so accepting, so understanding. It was just a couple of weeks they'd stopped calling me dad and or daddy and things like that and just called me Celeste and things. And what about the oldest child? Kay. Yeah, she's quite accepting of it, yeah. yeah. We discussed it with her and she seemed to understand and accept it. It's just amazing, isn't it? It's incredible. Yeah. Um, we, we talked about the fact that the, the, the two of you now are great friends. Um, as Ruth was saying, it's kind of a love story. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're bonded through this extraordinary experience. But you like to go out together. Yeah. Yeah. You like to go and sort of find partners together. Is that, what, what's that like for you, Celeste, uh, sort of going out with Claire and, and sort of helping her find a man maybe and her helping you? She's just my best friend. I just... It's just dead easy, it's just so easy. It's just like going out with any other girlfriend, it's great. Do you ever get jealous if you see her getting attention from... No, I kind of look out for her. I'm a bit, little bit... 
protective over her. Yeah. Yeah. She overprotects yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. So much. Yeah. And you think, oh, he's wrong for you. We do not. She doesn't approve of my taste in men. <laughs> and what about? I mean, you still live together. Um, yeah. I mean, you're not divorced. You're still officially married. Yeah. yeah officially. Um, how do you see this in the future? You know, mm, one of, or both. the other, or both of you meets somebody who's important to you, then I'm presuming that one of you would have to go. Do you ever think that we far ahead? Yeah. yeah, we have discussed, yeah, we have discussed that. We've thought that. about that. Like, I mean, we, we're aware that we've got to eventually. Mm. But the thing is, whoever I meet or whatever Claire meets, they've got to be prepared that I'm always going to be part of Claire's life. Mm. Because we're, we're just so yeah, strong. We've got to accept. So, you know, like, we and get on so well. Do you ever get jealous if one or the other of you is, is, meets somebody or you're in a bar or something? Would you, would you ever be jealous? Do you still have that kind no. of love no. for each not other? not at all. How would you describe your love now? It's just like friendship. Has that been difficult for you, though, Claire? Because obviously for Celeste, it's been an extraordinary journey and something she's needed to do for years. But you've lost the man that yeah. you fell in love with and the man yeah. that was the father to your children yeah. and you, you've gained a, a best friend, but your... It you was know, like he died and I did my grieving for him and this new person appeared and... Do you think totally Celeste is completely yeah, different? a different person. You never yeah. really connect the two no. anymore. Physi physical, totally, physically, you couldn't get more opposite if you tried. Physically they're different, but, uh, but in terms of their personality traits, what, what's different? Not saying that. Um, everything, even down to what she'll eat and drink. Really? Everything's like totally, what? Give us like an example. Salad. If I'd have given him a salad, he'd have said, I'm not a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> but Celeste will eat salad. <laughs>